this is tied on a small size 10 hook, two extra long. Six off red thread. <coughs> Start it right at the back end of the hook. At this point in time, it's it's not real important as to what color thread it is. It's just that I'm going to end up with a red head anyway, so I might as well tie up red. Okay. The Marabou I'm going to use is a brown olive. And if you look at the marabou, I usually like to use the stuff that has the really soft tips on it. All right. For this fly, I don't really like that. I've included in the packages most of the material that has the smaller, thinner tips on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to represent the tail. So when you pull it in tight, when you pull it in tight, it looks like that. All right? It's not supposed to wave around. Uh, the softer it is, the more likely it is, it's going to be that it's going to wrap and foul around the, uh, uh, the hook itself. And if you, I like the tail to be about the shank length or a little bit less right about there, about that length. So what I'll do is I'll clip this off right here. Do the pinch maneuver right on top of the hook shank. And you want to lift up a little bit so that the the tail is sitting right on the top of the hook shank. And if you look, this stuff is not real soft. It's not the really soft stuff. So what I'll do now is I'll go all the way to the front and to give it a little bit of bulk, I'm going to wrap the underbody with the rest of the marabou material. Just to give it a little bit of bulk underneath it. Okay. Would it help to reverse wrap that? I, I'm going to re reverse wrap it. Watch. It goes back the other direction when I go back down to the to the tail. Okay. So it's counter wrapping that wrap. One of the tools I use. It's a little Y. A dubbing, a dubbing tool, any of the, the dubbing spreaders or anything like that will work on this. When you make a dubbing loop, you can see the dubbing loop right there, okay? I come right over the top, over the same place where the thread is, make a couple of wraps over it, and then come underneath it and back up again. Did you guys all see that? And the reason for that is because if you have the hook shank like this and the thread going around it, you have that little gap right in between there. What that gap does is it prevents this material from locking down against the hook shank. So once I've got the dubbing loop formed, move my thread all the way back up to the hook eye and then take the dubbing. See this dubbing here? You only need about that much of it, and you've got more than that in each one of the little packages. Now, watch what I do with it. First thing I do is I'll put a twist. I'll put a twist in the uh, the dubbing loop, and I'll push this up there. Push this up into into the twist itself. All right. Then I'll twist it a little bit more. Put a little bit more dubbing up inside there. Now you don't want to make the, the, the back end of it too thick just yet. You actually want to make it a little bit 
more sparse. In fact, I'll pull a little bit of it out of there. A little bit more. Cough it up there. Twist it a little bit more. Push that up there. Twist a little bit more. Now, what all I'm doing is, if you can see that little bit of twist right there, I'm just taking a little bit of this material and I'm shoving it up into the twist. And when I let go, it'll twist right back down through there. And all you need all you need is about an inch and a half worth of material, about like that. And I'm going to twist it up relatively tight. Now if you look at it, you can see that it's a little thicker down at this portion of it because that's going to end up at the head. You want, you want the fly to be narrow at the back, thicker at the tip. Okay. And then I'll just wrap it around at the very back end over here. I'll wrap it, not real, real tightly. I'll spiral it up a little bit, let some of that body show through. And as I get closer to the front, I want it to be a little thicker. So I wrap it closer together. Scooch the hair back a little bit and then form a head. Okay, and then whip finish it. Put the thread. And then what you want to do is use a dubbing teaser. And anyway, I brought some material for you guys to make your own <coughs> dubbing teaser. And basically what you're yeah, we'll make we'll make some. Basically what I'm doing is taking some of the hook hook material and if you look at it, it's about an inch and a quarter. Maybe, maybe more, and you take an ice cream stick, peel off the backing, and then set it right in the middle of the ice cream stick. And then just fold it around. So well, basically you have something like that. And then what this does is it allows you to pick out the dubbing material. And you don't want to obscure the tail too much. So, But all that's doing is it's making a halo. And that's it. It's a really simple fly.